the Honorable Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, our host, Professor Isa Ibrahim Ali Fantami, the Honorable Minister FCT, the Egyptian Ambassador to Nigeria, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. I think the worst thing that can happen to a speaker is to be invited to speak after the Minister of Communications, Isa Fantemi. My colleagues, vice chancellors, can attest to this. In my last retreat with the vice chancellors, I invited Professor Fantemi, the only one outside the university system we invited to address the vice chancellors. He complained that we didn't tell him what to say initially, and that he only came because he respected us, but that he didn't know what to say. And he took the microphone. By the time he was through, every vice chancellor present stood up and was applauding. We were so happy. All the VCs then were so happy. And in fact, since that day, but particularly in the last few days, I started to sympathize with Professor Oti, because I'm sorry, you are going to have a very serious challenge keeping this man in your university, because, no, so many vice chancellors have started talking to me now to say I should talk to him, that unless he decides to remain in government, the next year they are preparing his office. Many universities are providing offices for him to take chairs in Nigerian universities. So I don't really know what we will do. Distinguished uh, colleagues, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, a lot has been said about the digital revolution and the digital divide. Digital divide globally and digital divide in Nigeria between Nigeria and the rest of the world, and within Nigeria. Today marks a very important day for us in higher education ecosystem of this country. I know probably my brother, Professor Bogaji, may be the happiest person today because Him to kindly visit me in my office to discuss an issue that has been discussed night and day across the country, and that is the issue of skills actually at the expense of degrees. So when you now say skills, not just degrees, is even something we will have to debate it with Bogaje, whether it should be skills, not just degrees, or skills, not degrees at all. <laughs> Your Excellencies, everybody who spoke before me identified four functions we are performing today. The unveiling of the brand broadband issue, which for us in university system is probably the most important intervention that will seek to transform and revitalize university education in Nigeria. We are so happy. It's not that we don't have 
internet facilities, but no university in the country has unlimited access to data because we cannot, we cannot afford it. Not just we do not need it, we cannot afford it. So for some universities now to be inaugurated into this club of digitally literate society, we are so happy. We are very happy with the laptops going around the country because again, they will go a long way in bridging the gap. We are celebrating the presentation, the writing of a book, probably the most important book to be written in Nigeria by Nigerians this year. The most important book. But more importantly for us in the university system, we are celebrating the minister himself. We are celebrating him not only as the author of this book, but for identifying constructively with the aspirations of the university system in Nigeria. Professor Fantami is such an interesting, very interesting figure. We believe he has a unique magnetic brain. We have tested him. I have a number of times. All he needs to do is just to take a look at some pages consisting of words and figures. And once he goes through it once or twice, he keeps it. The brain scans everything. And he stands up and starts to read out words and figures. And if you have the original text, any deviation will only be an improvement on the text, not an omission. The minister of Abuja, one of the youngest statesmen. The minister of Abuja is a statesman, but we always associate statesmen with all men. He is a young statesman, but he has also disclosed a gap of about 14 years, whatever that means. I don't know whether it's a gap between the two of them in terms of age. The 14 years, we are happy that the university system will continue to drink, to drink from the fountain of the minister over the next many decades. And I'm sure in the next 20 years, if the system utilizes him effectively, at least we are lucky, he cannot migrate he, from Nigeria. That one we are sure. There will be no brain drain regarding him. So he will have to stay in Nigeria and stay within the university system. But how will manage him in the system? What kind of portfolio we are going to create for him? Whether he will remain in one university or he will have to be going from one university to another, digitally and physically, that one we shall work out. And for those VCs who are interested in hiring his services, I offer my consultancy free to come and see me. So, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, today is a very happy day for me personally, for the Vice Chancellors present here, especially my brother, the Vice Chancellor in University of Ibadan. Because I delayed him, I detained him, he was to go back yesterday, I said, come, you'll go, something will happen. And the minister had hit this very important information, which now, it is the other 17 VCs now who will be complaining, <laughs> rather than him complaining. So I think we should sort out that when we go back to my office. So, Honorable Minister, we thank you very much. We are happy, we are proud, and we are happy that this book, which the reviewers, and it is very interesting, 
a book written by a professor of cybersecurity in the field of digital skills, being reviewed by academics and academic administrators who are not in the field, but who have now used their own experience and what is very visible. Because one beautiful thing about computing and digital skill, in a way it's like journalism. You can read anything in your first degree. You can read medicine, engineering, you can also, so, and you can move into journalism. And actually, I have Professor Patti, who is probably the most celebrated mass communicator in the uh, universities today, but he can testify that journalism is a skill, that passion, hard work, and of course the gift. If you don't have flair for writing, or for articulating and then please don't go into it. Computing, we have realized that many people who have not studied computer science can develop the skills of passion. And they might have read something else in the university, but they will be specialists and experts. So I'm trying to say that this book is not to be restricted to students and lecturers in the broad field of computing and information technology, but to be accessed by every Nigerian, educated Nigerian and semi-educated. Unfortunately, it cannot be translated because it's very difficult to translate such technical works. Otherwise, we could request some professors in universities to translate them into Hausa, Ibo, Yoruba, but we may lose a lot, I don't know, but it is a possibility because, because this book really needs to get onto the desk of every Nigerian inside and outside the universities, in workplaces, in government, in media. And this is the greatest demonstration of the triple helix model we have been advocating. The triple helix model the relationship, the interrelation, the interaction between government, academia, and the industry, the three of them coming together. And I think the Minister of Digital Economy symbolizes and epitomizes the triple helix in this country. We congratulate you, we thank you for this, and I consider it a rare privilege to hold this book and to formally present it to the public skills rather than just degrees. And as, as I say, Professor Bugaji, you may suggest a little amendment to this, but I think we have all accepted the reason. A degree without skills today will take you nowhere. Yeah. But will take you nowhere. But the minister has also clarified, we are not advocating the abolition of degrees. But we are saying we have to reform the process of obtaining the degrees. We have to embed skills into our own curriculum at all levels. And these skills is not just the hard skills. As he says, the soft skills, even the arg arguments, critical thinking, you may be reading philosophy, you may be reading this, you don't, it's not just hands, but all types of skills. So on behalf of the National Universities Commission and the Nigerian University system, and by extension, all of us here who have taken degrees in Nigeria and outside Nigeria, I present this book to the glory of God in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful and praying that this book will attain and achieve its primary aim of
provoking us to change the way we do things in Nigeria, the way we train our tertiary education uh, graduates, the way we treat skills in this country. May this be the beginning of the good things to come to this country.